beautiful people. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today was kind of a spontaneous video. I really wanted to do like a short little video on my top highlighters that I own. So these are the ones that I've kept in my collection and the ones I really like. So I thought I'd just talk you through my shades that I have and then if you've got them you can kind of compare them as well and you can see if they're similar to maybe some ones that you like. I've only got about five or six so it is very condensed but I hope you like the video and let's get started. Okay, so on counting, I do have six. So I'm going to start with Kevin Aquan because I have two from him. Um, these are the Celestial Powders, and the first one is in Candlelight. I am wearing this today. I think it is so, so gorgeous. It's like a pale gold color, so it's definitely not as intense as like Champagne Pop, which I'm going to show later. So it's perfect for lighter skin tones. It just gives you this beautiful glow, as you can probably see. And it's just super pigmented and it doesn't have a lot of, or actually any, sort of like pigments of glitter. So it really just blends into the skin and literally looks like you're glowing from within. Because it is so smooth and so, you know, like, poreless. I don't even know if people use that word to describe highlighters, but it is flawless. So, I'll swatch that one. So I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. It's just this gorgeous pale yellow gold colour. And I love it. It's definitely not too intense, so you could wear this like as your everyday colour. But I think it is just stunning. And especially if you have like a yellow undertone in your skin or more of like a golden undertone, it will look amazing. So the second one I have from Kevin, and this is the Celestia powder again, but this is in the shade Starlight. It is a pinky toned highlighter, so I'll swatch this next to other one. So this one will be amazing if you have a slight pink undertone in your skin. It just looks super, super gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. So because this does have a little bit of a pink undertone in it, um, it definitely brings a lot of colour to your face. So when you kind of pop it on your cheekbones, you can get away without wearing blush because it brings that colour that a blush usually would. So it gives you like a really nice healthy glow. Again, it's just super glowy, super flawless, pigmented, and I love it. It is stunning. I was wearing it in my... April Favourites video, so if you want to see it on, I would check that one out. So moving on, this one is a stock standard MAC product. I think everybody owns one of these, or has owned one of these on YouTube by the looks of it. So I picked this up a while ago. It is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. I love it. It is stunning. I really like how they brought out these kind of packaging, so you can actually see through it. And also... The plastic doesn't pop out like some of the other ones used to. So this is definitely more of a sort of bronzy toned highlighter. I'll pop it next to the others. It's definitely more intense. It's got a real high kind of iridescent shimmer to it. You can see that that one's more subtle. And then you've got this one which is very pearl, which is very pearlized and it just really pops. So this is really nice on like tanned skin or you can wear it when you're pale but you do want to have a little bit of colour otherwise it can look a bit brown and pink on you. But it is super super stunning. Definitely one of the more like out there highlighters that I'm going to be showing today. So if you want like a really statement glow and you want to be like I am wearing highlighter, it is just on point, then I would totally go with this one. Similar in tone to that one is Jubilation by NARS. This is one of their dual intensity blushes. I have taken it out of the package, so you actually get two. These ones you can use wet or like damp with a damp brush or dry, and they are super, super stunning. I remember Kim Kardashian going on about this one at one point, and so I needed it. So that is the darker shade. So you can see it's quite a bit darker than the um, Soft and Gentle by MAC. It's definitely got a pinkier undertone, and it's a little bit more beige. So it is perfect if you have a darker skin tone. I think that's absolutely stunning. And if I was tanned, I would totally just kind of like brush this over where I have a little bit of blush. Just because I think it would stand out beautifully. And it's more of like a rose gold tone. So it still blends in really well to the skin. But it is a little bit more pigmented. So it is going to show up a little bit more. So with these kind of dark ones, if you do have the similar skin tone to me, um, you definitely have to be a little bit more careful um, how much you put on and where you apply it. So... You just want to make sure you apply it there and not going any further up because then that can bring a little bit of darkness under the eyes and yeah, we don't want that. We want to look like glowing goddesses. So yeah, I think that is majorly stunning. On the other side, I don't usually wear this one as much because it is a lot more yellow toned. It's like a true gold. So I'm just going to put it down the bottom. I've got a really itchy you nose, know, sorry. So you can see that one is like a real yellow kind of gold. It is a true 
sort of like antique gold colour. It would be a beautiful on darker skin tones. I mostly use this as like a inner corner highlight or I use it on my lids like as an eyeshadow because I can't really pull it off. When I have more of a tan I can use a little bit of it but most of the time I don't. So um, that one doesn't get used as often but I still think it is naturally gorgeous. And even you can blend the two together just to get a little bit more of a gold highlight but without being super gold. So the second to last one I'm going to show you today this is the Becca Champagne Pop, and I'm sure you've heard so much about this. They are beautiful. I remember seeing this in Sephora when I went to America because they weren't in the UK at that stage, and I needed it. I had to pick it up, and I just, I just grabbed it. It is the most beautiful, like, true golden shade, but it's got that kind of white or, like, a lighter pearlescence under it, so you definitely can wear it if you've got slightly fairer skin. So again, so there you go. You can definitely see it is a lot less yellow than the NARS one we had before. It's more like a peach. It is stunning. They're so pigmented. They're super um, sort of like, how would you say? They're super smooth. So when you sort of like put it on, it's all even. It's not patchy. It doesn't have bits of shimmer. Again, it's just like so stunning. It's like the most perfect sort of rose beige gold and I love it so much. It's really nice as an inner corner highlight as well but this one I definitely don't put on my chin or in the centre of my face just because it is that little bit darker that it can look a bit caked in the centre but on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead is stunning. So the last one I'm going to show you, you've probably seen it in my videos, it is my favourite and it is broken. It is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. This is my go-to, my like Number one, it is amazing. You can wear it every day. You can build it up if you want a more intense look for the night time. It is just, it's just perfect. I never even, I mean, look at that pigment. It's amazing. I never even really looked twice at this highlighter for a long time. And then I just fell in love. So it's probably the lightest one out of them all, which is probably why I'm wearing it so much at the moment, because I am fading after summer. But it's just beautiful. It's got a real warm undertone so it's not too white. It doesn't have any weird flashback. None of these actually have weird flashback on me that I've noticed. So it's just a beautiful pale gold colour. Very wearable. You can use it anywhere. It never looks cakey because it is quite a light consistency. And you can just build it up to like your desired amount. So some days I'm majorly glowy. Some days I'm just super subtle. It just depends on my mood. So it is beautiful and I would definitely recommend that. The other one, or the one that's out at the moment, comes in much better packaging. So it's a lot more sturdy than the one I had. So I'm looking at getting that. I think you can get it if you're in New Zealand off, um, what is it? Fragrances and Cosmetics, I think the brand is, or is it fresh? I don't know, off the top of my head, but I'll link it down below because I have seen it on there when I've been linking it in some of my other videos. But yeah, those are my top six highlighters. They all are very different, as you can see, like tone-wise. So it just really depends on your mood as to what one you feel like wearing. But I love them all, and that's basically why they've stayed in my collection. So I like to compare them. I like seeing the difference, and I hope this has been helpful, and that you have an amazing day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So with my lipsticks, with my eyeshadows, I really, really love it. It is just stunning. I just oh, I just don't feel the need to buy more eyeshadows. If I did, I'd probably just buy more.